The DNA test can tell you about its ancestry. These cute French bulldog pups aren't having their teeth cleaned, but DNA tests. Good boy. Just like CSI, their saliva swabs will be run through a DNA database to expose hidden secrets. As with forensics, they're able to pick up a lot more now. The tests have got a lot more sophisticated. Breeder Jackie Pennington screening her pups for health reasons. She says French Bulldogs can be predisposed to conditions that don't show up until years down the track. More serious is what they call DM, degenerative myelopathy, and that's a disease of the spinal cord. It's neurological and it will come on in later years. So if you're aware that you've got a dog that was carrying that um, or affected, you certainly wouldn't be breeding from it. Jackie says even adult dogs that seem unaffected can be carriers, and breeding two carriers could end in heartbreak. You can see out of four pups, two will be carriers, one will be affected, have the disease, and one will be normal. A simple DNA test could save spending a lot of extra money and time at the vet. Having been a vet nurse in the past and having a science background, I guess I was just interested to know what she was. It was curiosity that spurred Tasma Horbury to DNA test her rescue dog, Indy. When people ask you at the park, you know, oh, what breed is she? She's gorgeous. It's nice to be able to tell them something. She was surprised at what it uncovered. She only had uh, secondary breeds, which means that that's 25% or less of her markup. And they were Labrador Retriever and Siberian Husky. And then it also says a little bit about, um, you know, the traits, um, you know, their sensitivity, um, you know, whether they bark or they're dog friendly and stuff like that. So it's interesting. Tasma says the results could go some way to explaining Indy's personality. That real um, sort of predatory gun dog thing. So that is in both Siberian Huskies and Labradors. Um, you know, she's very loyal, very affectionate, which again, Labradors are very much like that. Genetic testing over the last 10 years has increased in popularity enormously. And reliability. George Sofronides from Orivet says scientific advances mean dog DNA tests are 99% accurate. A test can cost anything between $75 up to $175, depending on the range of tests. Results will take around about two to three weeks. He says most of his customers are breeders. We offer a close to 123 single genetic disorder tests for the breeder. DNA testing also popular with younger pet owners. They're a generation now which isn't just happy with saying that dog's a mixed breed dog. They want to know, they demand to know, and they want to know what they purchase is what they, what they got. George says not everything the DNA test picks up will emerge in an animal. And all that is genetics, environment and nutrition combined. But forewarned is forearmed. And a little swab can provide a lot of reassurance when it comes to planning a future alongside man's best friend.